and involved in a 2022 hit and run that left two women seriously injured will spend the next few years behind bars. We'll spend the next year behind bars. Carly Baker was at that plea hearing today and she has more. Carly. The judge sentenced Eric Kirby to one year in prison, two years of house arrest and three years on probation. Kirby was seen at multiple bars in the King Street area in September of 2022 before striking two women on the corner of Meeting and Columbus Street. Officials say one victim was propelled into a telephone pole while the other was carried onto the hood of the car before rolling off the left side. They both suffered serious injuries. Police say Kirby then fled the scene and made efforts to try and conceal the car by buying a car cover, renting storage units and trailers to move the car into the storage unit. When I look in the mirror, I see scars on my face and my shoulders and my legs and my knees from two major surgeries. I think of how I'll explain them to a curious acquaintance or a potential boyfriend. <coughs> Will people think I'm pretty? Am I being silly to focus on such superficial things when I should be grateful that Jade and I still have our lives? The victims and their family spoke at the plea hearing along with Kirby's family. His family and his attorney stressed a worry for Kirby's health if he were incarcerated as he is diabetic. Biggest concern for my son, and I know he takes full responsibility for his actions, as well as our whole family. Um, but I really, really am afraid for his health if he's incarcerated. During his five years after incarceration, Kirby is not allowed to visit any establishments that sole revenue is from alcohol and is required to do 80 hours of counseling and giving back to the community. When the judge asked Kirby if he had seen the video of the accident, he said that it was one of the most horrific things that he had ever seen. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.